and are actually attracting, as we have been discussing earlier, for biosimilars, a variety of attentions in the industry. What are challenges in antibody purification? And how can we, as a vendor, support the industry in overcoming those bottlenecks? Forgive me that I will also talk about products yeah, that we, out of Merck Millipore, sell into the market. But we know as Titus and also the number of products that are actually manufactured increase due to, uh, say, uh, progress we made in upstream processing. We have uh, difficulties and challenges, challenges in utilizing our existing facilities to the maximum extent with versatile and flexible uh, operations, quick change over time see, between different campaigns. But also, obviously, when we invest into a new facility, I agree to the colleague speaking about this earlier, you want to spend the lowest amount of money possible, the latest possible. Typical constraints when you come to existing facilities here, with high tighter processes come to the filtration areas, buffer tank volumes or intermediate whole tank volumes. And we can discuss many strategies to alleviate all these constraints. Some of them we can contribute to by supplying products into downstream processing. Such products could be new, higher capacity resins, opportunities for inline blending of buffers, for the reduction of buffer volumes by using the right process setup and the right products for manufacture. And last but not least, we would suggest that we could discuss about connecting process steps in a monoclonal antibody process directly without the use of intermediate hold tanks to ultimately be able to reduce the footprint of that unit operation. We will discuss this on a standard monoclonal antibody platform purification strategy, clarified feed stream, protein A for monoclonal antibody capture, low pH virus inactivation, cation exchange for intermediate purification, the removal of uh, leaked protein A and DNA, anion exchange in a flow-through mode to remove trace impurities, followed by virus filtration. We are going to talk here about the chromatography steps being highlighted in blue. We have been introduced in your resin from another supplier earlier in the talk today. So here we would like to talk about recent developments in protein A affinity out of the Merck Millipo organization. Procep Ultra Plus Media as a high capacity protein A resin based on controlled power glass is actually reusable 200 cycle times, is actually used for 200 cycles in commercial manufacture of lysine monoclonal antibodies. And uh, if uh, you experience a supplier driving your cost for phosphoric acid and benzyl alcohol to the extent we've learned earlier, then come to us and we talk. Yeah. So these, these materials can be used at high capacity of 50 milligrams and above at process flow rates of 500 centimeters per hour and reduce column footprint and buffer volume. We have here breakthrough curves of commercially available resins. And uh, luckily those that are manufactured by Macmillipore exhibit very steep breakthrough curves here and can be actually used to the theoretical capacity limit without significant breakthrough. What about cation exchange media? Cation exchange media still are workhouse in purification. In a monoclonal antibody process, they are used for aggregate removal for DNA removal, virus removal, HCP removal. But to increase productivity, we need new resins that provide higher productivity. We have learned earlier, productivity is not a function of a single uh, product attribute, meaning it's not a function of solely capacity or solely selectivity or solely throughput, but is traded in between those three and uh, what we can contribute is providing products that allow you in a broad operating window to achieve the maximum productivity by trading against those three parameters. We have um, been launching to the market 
a new product line called Eshmuno Iron Exchanges in the year 2009 based on the combination of a new proprietary technical technology, XMAC Millipur, and new base beads we have developed. Those are very hydrophilic polyvinyl derivative beads that um, you see here in, a, in an enlargement show a very good pore structure, good pore accessibility with a mean pore size of 18 micrometers and a very high rigid and hydrophilic particles that exhibit uh, performance within uh, a monoclonal antibody process that would us allow to link them uh, directly connected without the need of intermediate hole tanks into a platform monoclonal antibody process. What is a tentacle? It's a buzzword out of the Merck Millipore organization. It's a proprietary technology that we have been commercializing on the fractal gel resin platform approximately 20 years ago. As compared to non-grafted surfaces of iron, of iron exchange resins, our tentacle resins carry a polymeric structure on the surface that would, that would provide a three-dimensional network of ionic interactions. And um, next slide here shows that in consequence of such a three-dimensional ionic charge network, we can significantly improve selectivity of such a resin when it comes to ion exchanges. What you see here is a superimposure of a grafted Eshmuno S resin, a strong cation exchanger, where you can see that um, it's a bit difficult to see, but I mean here the blue line one here is at 78 centimeters per hour, while up to 1,000 centimeters per hour you can still see significant separation will say 400 centimeters per hour what would be a standard operational range for a new, um, for a new resin in a high throughput and a quick process, you will still see that you have near, near baseline separation here of the molecules. Hmm? Meaning you can meet two of the parameters defining productivity with one product, selectivity and throughput. We talk about capacity, factor number three. We are proud to announce that the chromatographic separation on the tentacle grafted ion exchange resin remains stable and robust at capacity load. So driving the load of a resin up to utilize that expensive product to the best of its extent will still allow an operator to run a process efficiently.